Welcome and welcome back everyone to another Timeless Pick a Card and today's reading is another yes or no. We have four options as you can see. Option one with the Dalmatian Jasper. Option number two with the Black Obsidian. Option three with the Clear Quartz Tumble. Option four with the Rose Quartz Tumble. Take a deep breath. Exhale. And pause the video if you need more time to choose your pile. All right. Welcome option number one. If you chose the Dalmatian Jasper, this is your yes or no. So let's find out what the energy is surrounding your situation. We've got sacred reverence. The number 47 may be relevant to you as well as the number 11. This has something to do with matters of love. Um, someone who holds the key to your heart or you hold the key to their heart, someone who may be at a distance in another part of the world. There may be a connection here to star seeds. If you do feel that you could be a star seed, which I do feel it is a possibility here, you can go and watch my star seed pick a card if you haven't already. There's a message there for you. Um... This could also be something to do with something you you love doing or you will love doing um, that has to do with dealing with uh, other cultures or something to do with being seen all over the world. Travel could also be the case here. And with the key there, it could have something to do with relocating, changing to a new place to live, a new home. is what I'm picking up from this card today. Now, we also have exchanging gifts. So this could have something to do with your psychic gifts as well. This could have something to do with, um, you could be asking, is someone going to give you a gift? Is someone going to be, um, is there going to be an equal give and take here? In the situation, is there mutuality when it comes to feelings or will the situation be balanced and fair? If you put in the work, will someone else put in the work? So it could have something to do with a business partnership. Someone here may have a cat or a connection to cats. The number 27 may be relevant to you as well as the number 9. I'm seeing the months of September and November so far. Now we have luck is on your side. That's amazing. So luck is on your side regardless of the answer that you get here today. You could have a Sagittarius placement. You could be dealing with someone who has a Sagittarius placement. Um, this could also have something to do with um, a new beginning here after closing a cycle. I'm seeing a new cycle starting for you. And now we have yin and yang. It's going back to that energy of balance. The number 22 may be relevant to you. You may be seeing the number 22. If you are, check it out. Master number 22 and angel number 22. Do some research on those numbers. Yin and yang. This could have something to do with divine guidance or a divine counterpart that you're asking. You may be asking, is this person a higher level soulmate? Will this person uh, compliment me? Like as in um, be the yin to my yang or the yang to my yin. Again, the energy of balance here. Again, Sagittarius energy showing up strongly here. Um, for the tarot, we have the four of cups. So someone here may be, you may be asking, is someone missing you? Um, have you missed an opportunity? Maybe you're just feeling bored and discontent. Maybe you feel like you've missed an opportunity or someone has. 
or you're asking, is this a missed opportunity? Two of Cups. Again, this is very connect connected to emotions with all these cups here. So you could have Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio in your chart or someone you're dealing with. But again, you could be asking about a higher level soulmate. Is this my soulmate? Will, will we come into union? Could be your question. Does this person miss me? Maybe this is someone you're missing and you're wanting to know yes or no pertaining to the situation here. Will there be an equal give and take? Again, this could be a par business partnership that you feel very invested in. And wow, look at this. The lovers. That is like the two of cups on steroids. So definitely your question could be asking, is this my twin flame? Is this my higher level soulmate? Um, will we come into union? Will this person choose me? Choose to be with me? Um yeah is this a good partnership energetically is this a match so um, i'm getting a yes for all those questions this is a yes for you okay this person you have the key to this person's heart this is a balanced energy there is luck surrounding the situation because it's meant to be um this person will put, on, put in, in as much work as you do. This person misses you as much as you do. This person loves you as much as you do. And um, yeah, so it's a yes, pile number one. Beautiful energy. Let me know how that resonates in the comment section. If none of these were your questions, if you didn't find your answer, definitely check out another pile. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and hit the bell if you'd like to be notified of future uploads on the channel in the future. Bless you and bye for now. Until next time. Welcome pile number two. If you chose this black obsidian, then this is your yes or no. So let's see what the energy is surrounding your question. And we have a willing release here. The number 49 may be relevant to you as well as the number four. So this is about structuring yourself after a time of transformation with the butterfly there. Maybe you wished on something. Uh, with a dandelion more specifically maybe you blew a dandelion asking for something maybe you wished blowing on a dandelion um, but you could also be asking should you release a situation if you did wish on something if you did manifest something the advice here is to release the outcome and just trust in the situation some of you with a no place like home could be asking about a relocation. The number 50 may be relevant to you. The number five, five is change after a structure with the four there. Four to the five is progress. So there will be progress in your situation. You may be asking if you will be able to relocate, if someone will relocate to be with you, if um, you will be able to relocate, if you should, if this is a good idea. If you will be able to create roots somewhere else and we have prosperity lies ahead with the new moon in Taurus so there's definitely a new beginning after releasing a situation here um, some of you could have a placement in Taurus but this is definitely pertaining to a new beginning and you're wondering if there will be prosperity lying ahead if there will be stability if there will be abundance now, you may be fe feeling all tied up or spending too much time in your mind overthinking this situation or you may just plain feel stuck in your situation and unable to move at the moment and you're wondering, will this ever change? Again, the number 23 could be relevant to you and again, 23, 2 plus 3 is a 5. You may be asking, will my situation change and will I be free? That could be all those questions or do I have to stay stuck to this place uh, or will that change? That could be your question. We have the Empress here for the tarot. You could have Taurus or, or Libra in your chart, Venusian energy. This could be a situation pertaining to love or a project or a pregnancy or emotions as well as um, abundance. You may just be asking, will abundance come my way? Will this be abundant if I release something and change something up about my life. Um, it's great that the energy of the Empress is showing up because it shows that you are in your power right now. You are fertile. You are abundant at the moment and you are attracting abundance your way already. 
Now we have the devil, so again, uh, there could be too much overthinking. If you're spending too much time in your mind, then you're giving too much attention to uh, maybe self-sabotaging th thoughts or just you could be overworking or you could just be an, a workaholic or you could be asking about someone who is a workaholic, okay? Uh, you may be asking, is, is someone obsessed with you? Uh, maybe this is someone you're asking about who you're obsessed with. This person could have Capricorn in their chart. You could have Capricorn in your chart. This could be about a business situation and you may be asking um, about if you have been uh, in a workaholic mode, will this work out? Is it worth all this work that I'm putting in? Will it pay off? Um, maybe there's a situation here that you feel really uh, bonded to. There's a strong bond here to the situation. Um, and we have the Knight of Cups here. So you could be asking about a Cancer Pisces Scorpio, or you could have these somewhere in your chart, Sun, Moon, Rising, Mar Mercury, Venus, or Mars, or even a North Node placement, or even um, Midheaven placement. You may be asking, is someone coming in with an offer of love? Is someone coming in to take things to the next level with you, to ask you to move in, or to just change the way things are for the better? with a communication of love or maybe even an apology after they did something toxic. Okay, uh, if, if someone has been toxic, um, you're asking maybe are they releasing the addiction or the toxic behavior? You may be asking, will I be able to release my own toxic thought patterns and will things improve? So if you're a question was will there be a change for the better yes should i release the situation and if i do will uh, i attract abundance yes you will is someone obsessed with you yes they are because they love you is someone coming in with an apology yes they are if i relocate will i get good news about relocation yes you will will i be able to free myself yes you will will i be abundant with whatever i am um trying to start here be that a project a relationship a situation in your life a relocation yes there will be abundance this will be a good thing so it's overall a yes for pile number two let me know how that resonates in the, in the comment section if it did not resonate with your question definitely check out another pile don't forget to like this video subscribe and hit the bell if you'd like to be notified of future uploads on the channel bless you all bye for now and until next time Welcome, Pile 3. If you chose the Clear Quartz Tumble, this is your yes or no. So let's look at the energy surrounding your question. So we have the Rose's Kiss. And the number 9 may be relevant to you. We have a ladybug there, so that uh, is talking about luck in your situation. You may be asking, will I be lucky in love? Will I get, does someone want to kiss me? Will I be able to kiss someone? As basic as that. Um, maybe someone here wants to give you flowers. Maybe a rose here has some significance for you. Maybe England as well. I'm seeing. We have TikTok here. So it could be literally a question about TikTok. Okay, it's the first time I'm saying that. Actually, maybe the second in a reading where this card is actually pointing me to the app TikTok. Okay, so some of you may be asking about that app. It may be a question about that app. The number 30, the number 3 could be relevant to you. The months of March and September could be relevant. But this is about divine timing and maybe there is a period of time where you have to wait and be patient because divine timing is at play here. All will happen when it's time is what this is showing me here. Maybe you're checking the clock a lot or you're doing, you are, um, you know, doing this repetitive behavior of checking something. Okay, we have your commitment is being tested. So maybe you're testing the possibility of there being a commitment here. And you're asking, well, there is this person committed? Should I commit to the situation? If I do, will it be lucky? Should I wait? Could be your answers, your questions, sorry. We have storm warning. So this is literally a warning. Uh, where, you know, things can go a little bit uh, A-wire for a while and a little bit chaotic. Maybe things are chaotic at the moment, but that is about to end with the 10 there. That's an ending to the chaos. 
If there is a storm, it will be temporary and no big deal. Okay. Now um, we got for the tarot with the Knight of Pentacles, you could have Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo in your chart. You could be dealing with the Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. You may be asking if a certain someone is moving toward you, taking action toward you, or communicating with you. Um, this is slow moving energy. This is about slow but steady wins the race. So if someone is moving or taking action toward you, it is slow. Hermit, because someone here may be in hermit mode, going within, seeking answers, meditating, connecting with spirit, um, and being guided by their intuition at the moment. Gaining insight again. The the now we have Virgo energy and the month of September coming through strongly, and we have strength. So that's Leo energy. Some of you could be Leo, Virgo cuspers are asking about a Leo Virgo cusper or v Virgo Leo in and Vedic astrology, and um, Virgo in tropical astrology. Or you could just have these in your chart or the person you're asking about. You don't have to resonate with the signs. It's just the message here. Um, you could be asking, is there a strong bond here? Is should I wait? Should I hold back? Um, and, or should you communicate? So should you communicate right now? The answer is no. Um, it's not time. Will someone communicate with you right now? No, but they will in the future. They're getting prepared for that. Right now, they're not in a position to communicate or they're not ready for some reason Reason because they are going through a spiritual transformation. And you may be asking, is someone holding back from communicating with you even though they want to? Yes, they are. Because for some reason, um, they are not ready here, okay? So... Is someone testing your commitment? Yes, they are. They're seeing how strong this bond is right now. And so they're seeing how patient you can be. They're trying to be patient to make sure that they analyze the situation thoroughly because you're dealing with someone who does not like to make mistakes, someone who is not impatient, okay? So should you keep going? Yes, you should. But you should be patient as well. This is calling for you to be patient. All right. The month of August could also be relevant here and important to your um, answer. Okay, pile number three, that was your answer. Let me know how that resonated for you in the comment section. If it did not resonate, choose another pile. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and hit the bell if you'd like to be notified of future uploads here on the channel. Bless you and bye for now. Until next time. Welcome, last but not least, pile number four. If you chose this rose quartz tumble, this is your yes or no. So let's let analyze the energy around your question. And we have exposed and revealed. The number 21 could be relevant to you. I'm seeing the year, the current year we're, we're in as I am uploading this. Um, it is a timeless reading, but it could be pertaining to the year 2021. This is saying that in 2021, things will be exposed to you and revealed to you. You can trust what you see in your mind's eye, okay, is what this is saying. Basically, the energy is what I'm seeing for this specific um, oracle card. Now, we have the number 32 could be relevant to you as well as the number 5. 5 is change. There will be change. Just remain present in the here and now. Don't focus on the future. Don't focus on the past. And this change will bring you a victory because the number 32 is the number of the winner, okay? The number three could be also relevant, the month of March and the month of May, okay? Uh, 32 could be an important age. The number 21 could be an important age or an important date, or these could just be important numbers to you. You could be a life path number five. You could be asking about a life path number five. You could be a life path number three. We have step out of your comfort zone north node. So you could be asking a question about um, your life purpose. You could be asking whether you should make a move and leave a comfortable situation. Um, I'm almost hearing this is inevitable because what you've seen you cannot unsee and you cannot stay where you were because no matter how comfortable that is, staying there will also become uncomfortable. And the only way you can step into your Life purpose is by stepping out of your comfort zone. It's not comfortable, but it is worth it. 
contract. You could be asking about a contract, about a legal situation here. You could have Libra in your chart, or you could be dealing with someone who has Libra in their chart. You could have a North Node in Libra or in the seventh house. Um, you may be asking about someone who works in the, in the field of the law as a judge, as a lawyer, or in some other capacity, or you could be working in such areas. The number six could be relevant to you as well as the month of June here. Okay. You could be asking about a contract. So let's look at the tarot. We have the Page of Pentacles. You could have Capricorn, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo in your chart, or you could be dealing with someone, or this could be some new endeavor or business that you're starting, or you could be wondering um, if this is going to bring you stability, moving ahead, and um, prosperity even, if this is a stable foundation. We have the Magician. Maybe this is something you manifested. Now we have Gemini energy coming through. Maybe you're manifesting an entire new beginning. These are two cards of new beginnings and you're wondering if this will bring you stability. Maybe this has, uh, has to do with a contract that you're wondering, will this bring you stability here? Or will you be uh, having financial stability should you choose to step into your life purpose? Okay, you are manifesting an entire new beginning here. Um, and all areas of your life is what it, what is coming through. And we have the Nine of Wands. So maybe you've been through a lot already. It's like it seems like you've fought many battles in your life. And you could be tired. And it's you're saying finally you're coming to the end of those battles and struggles. This is also telling me that whatever you're asking about, there's also going to still be a little bit of a tough road ahead. It's not going to be all daisies and peaches even though this will, again, that's that uncomfort uncomfortability there, but it will be worth it. So if you're asking, will it be worth to worth stepping into this new path? Yes, it will. Am I manifesting a new beginning? Yes, you are. Um, should I go for this contract? Yes, but make sure you read the fine print and all of the um, clauses in that contract, okay? Read it very thoroughly. Uh, don't skip any um, don't skip any phases of this, but I do see that there will be prosperity here. So it is a yes, but it'll take some work and um, it's not going to be the easiest path, but it's going to be worthwhile. Okay, so pile number four, let me know how that resonated for you in the comment section. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe and hit the bell if you'd like to be notified of future uploads on the channel. And if it did not resonate at all, choose another pile. Bless you all and bye for now. Until next time.